Hello, this is Bunting, and today I'm going to be showing you some sound design and arrangement in the style of Detox Unit. Yo, 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 yo. So when, when producing like Detox Unit, the first thing you got to get right are your drums and sub. So make sure you have a lower BPM, like I think 87 sounds nice for this hip hoppy type stuff. And speaking of hip hoppy, you really want those drums to be very hip hoppy, even more so than I did it. This is just what I settled with. And get some kind of acoustic samples. These are from Cashmere, and I have a kick from Deep Dark and Dangerous, and here's a Cashmere hat loop. Awesome. Now this sub here. Yo, yo. It's very important for a detox unit is the sub because he has a unique take, well, compared to most artists, is that he adds a lot of pitch bends, right? If I show you vital pitch bending. Not a ton of pitch bending on this hit right here, but on these lower wubs, definitely has some pitch bending going on. Awesome. And also volume automation. So pitch bending and volume automation are just two ways to make your sub, which is typically very cookie cutter and simple, to make it stand out and hit crazy hard, especially live. Yo, 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 okay, now yo, I'm going to just yo, go down to this main bass riff right here with these two having a conversation. So in a lot of detox unit stuff, you'll hear this kind of sound or a variation of it. And what this comes from is FM sine waves, right? So I have this original sine wave right here with some LFO automation. I put that on triplet because it's just funky. Detox unit uses triplets too. And turn on the FM oscillator, just clicking from here. Turn on our second. Turn our level down. Turn our transpose up. So we get that nice high harmonic. And another thing I did, so it's not different every time. If you can hear that, it sounds a little different each time. I turn down the randomization and drag the phase to just the point where I thought it sounded good because you get slightly different results for each position. Now to beef it up a bit, I have distortion and compression. That doesn't do a whole lot, but the distortion does just add some additional harmonics and makes it a little more prominent in the mix. Just on soft clip with the drive up a bit. Now for the second bass, oh, which I did not select. This is quite similar. Another FM sine wave. Again, very common in his stuff. Except here, I additionally added some white noise and apply the LFO to this as well. Just the teeniest bit, so it's not too overpowering. It could use even less, honestly, but what do you know? And another thing I did with this white noise is enable this filter and filter out the highs, right? And make sure the noise is going through it with that button here. An easier way to do this would just be to use erosion, but not everyone's in Ableton, so I wanted to show you in Vital. And that's probably what Detox Unit uses, honestly. Okay. Now for these effects, nothing except multiband compression. Makes it sound nice and noisy. Now before I yo, get to all yo, these fills yo, here yo, and yo. stuff like that, I'm just going to show you this little percussive squelchiness up top that you'll hear in his stuff. It's almost like I'm covering him in this video, like I'm showing you the stuff he does. Okay, as this opens, you will see we have a sine wave, yes? Have some pitch bend action, which I just drew in with Ableton's lovely automation stuff. And in addition to that, I have this filter. This filter is where the magic happens. It's a bandpass. Make sure you have it on 24 and drag it to the middle so it's a band. And that gives it that awesome squelchiness that you can, you can just mess around with and have fun with. So just really experiment with your pitch bends and like volume parameters as well. Here I made it plucky and just trigger over and over again with the arpeggio. You can make it like little, like that. You can shape some more pitch with your envelope for some different effects. And yeah, 
Another application of this, which I didn't end up using in the final arrangement, oops, is that, which isn't enabled, but throw some delay on that and it gives you a nice psychedelic atmosphere. Okay, because it's not being routed through filter one, now it is. Now it's got that awesome squelch with the triplet delay on it, just makes it wide and awesome. Now time for these filler basses. Detox Unit loves his saw waves and sine waves. You'll hear a lot of them in his music, either distorted, like, or FM, or anything, filtered, all that jazz. Right here, all I have is a sine wave being filtered out. I just drew in some filter automation here. That's it just to give it that swelling up into our main bases. Right here, as I said, he loves his saw and sine waves. So right here we have a sine wave with some volume automation. Well, not volume automation, filter automation with the distortion giving it that much needed high end and it sounds awesome, especially with a bit of resonance on your filter here. Just shaping our envelope and dragging it to there. Awesome stuff, okay. Next, next thing here, this is pretty much the same patch except it is on a faster LFO and on triplet, 16th triplet. Oh, it's actually different because I use a saw wave instead of a saw. A little less tubby, a little more squelchy, I guess you can say. And it's moving real fast right there. Right here, our same technique as earlier. Our pitch bent sine wave, I mean saw wave, with a band pass on it. This time it has a bit of volume automation with our LFO. Awesome. Right here, similar thing. Sine wave distorted. This time it has volume automation with our envelope here. And also some FM automation with the same envelope. So it morphs over time. And a bunch of soft clip distortion and a compressor. Okay. And I'll just show you the last one for to get this sound design over with and then kind of cover my approach to arranging this. Okay, if it ever works, cooperates. Right here, similar to the rest, distorted saw wave with filter, except I added a flanger. It adds a wonky, crazy high end that I need to use more of in my songs because it sounds freaking sick. Okay, and this is pretty much the same as this thing back here, or wherever it was. You, you know the deal. Right there. Okay, so that's that, and I'll just generally talk about my approach to arranging this. First of all, like I've been saying, you don't need a whole lot of crazy variation in your sound design. You want it to sound similar, right? So it all meshes together, but just with slight differences. So for that, you know, process saw waves different ways. Process your um, sine waves different ways. And different FMs, different kind of distortion settings, different filtering, and all that jazz. Because if you listen to his stuff, you'll hear a lot of that in there. Nothing super crazy. His arrangement is what really stands yo, out. Yo, 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 yo. Just that crazy conversation between the different basses and that just awesome hip hop flow going along the whole time. Another thing that I did not cover that you'll hear a lot of in his music is. Let me just demonstrate with, I guess, a new patch here. And that is phasers, right? I didn't find any room for phasers in here, but he sure uses them. So just turn on our filter one, go to phaser. Let's turn up our blend so we get some more peaks and... Just drag that around. That's your phaser action. Automate it like you would any other filter. Get some tippery, kind of squelchy sounds that are just awesome to use. 
Besides just doing it on a saw wave, which is great, I also hear him sometimes use it on a distorted sine wave. So you would just turn on, let's just turn on our filter instead for this. That just gives it some awesome movement as well. More movement is always welcome in anything, but especially this style. And really, that about covers it. I covered pretty much every bass, and of course, you yo, want yo, yo, some cool yo, hip hop yo, samples. Yo. That's just a yo from some random sample pack. It's a cool sample, though. Yo, yo, With a bit yo, of delay on yo, it. Yo, Add delay for atmosphere. Get some instrumental samples too, like horns and stuff he likes to use, and just have a fun time with it. Add some MF Doom acapella. Yo, I'm a classic, it's drastic. Building the hydrochloric acid, splashed, pulling our reached and blasted. Pow, pinstripes on a basket. New York style, wow. But that's really it. I hope you could grasp something from my quick kind of overview of everything going on here. Hope it gave you a starting point. And that's all I can cover in this video. If you have any questions about what I did here or if some further elaboration, just ask that in the comments. I'd be happy to help. And of course, give me suggestions for future videos. I'm always open to them. And if you like the video, give it a like. If you want to see more of this stuff, subscribe and you'll get notified. This was Bunting. Thanks for watching. Peace out.